Hey everyone, today we're going to be showing you how to create a free Gmail account. It's really easy to do if you haven't had one before. It'll only take a few minutes to set up and it's also going to give you access to some great features like having a YouTube account or Google Docs or Google Drive. These are all free features that are included with your Gmail account. And hey, if you're new here, my name is Ken and this is Northern Viking Everyday. And we bring you videos on reviews and how to's. So make sure you click that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. But let's jump on over to my desktop and get right into it. All right, so I'm here on my Windows computer and if you're using a Mac, no worries. The process should be very similar, if not exactly the same for you. Just go ahead and open up your browser and do a search for Gmail. I opened up Google here and I did a search for that and it's the first one that comes up. It says Gmail-Google. You can go ahead and select that option and it's gonna bring you to a page where there's a whole bunch of information about Gmail. I'll put a link to this page in the description below so you can easily find it. But the option we're looking for here in the top right hand corner, there's an option that says create an account. So go ahead and select that. It's gonna open up a new window where you can start putting in your first and last name, a username, and a password. So we're gonna go ahead and create an account for John Smith today. So you can punch in your first and last name there or um, a business name. And it actually automatically populated a username for me here. Um, I don't really want js0506254 at gmail.com. So I'm gonna try and get John Smith at gmail.com. Now, the odds of that email address being available are really slim just because there's millions and millions of Gmail accounts out there. So the odds of that one being available are really small, but I'll show you how to check that here in a moment. So the last thing it's asking for at the bottom is a password and you need to confirm it. Right down here it says password and confirm and it needs to be eight or more characters with a mix of letters, numbers, and symbols. So um, we're gonna go ahead and put a password in there and confirm it and I'll show you what happens to the username if it's not available. All right, so I got my password and confirmation in there and if I go ahead and click next, it says the user is taken, try another. And it's got some options here, the, just one option in this case um, that it's recommending. But let's say John Smith is wanting to start a burger restaurant. So he's got John Smith Burgers in New York. So now the email address or the username would be John Smith Burgers in NY at gmail.com. Let's try that one and see if it's available. And that one is available, so perfect. It'll take you to the next page where you can verify your account with your phone number. So if you are from a different country, just go ahead and select the country you're in here. And I happen to be in Canada, so I'm gonna leave it on Canada there. And then we're gonna go ahead and punch in our phone number. It's actually gonna text me a verification code to put in here. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do that right now. And then just go ahead and click Next. And let's see if Gmail texts me here and I got my code. I'll put that in here. And then just go ahead and click verify. All right, perfect. It moved us over to the next page here and it approved that email address, John Smith Burgers in NY at gmail.com. Now it's going to ask you for a couple more things here. There's a phone number, which is optional, and a recovery email address. These are good to put in here in case you do forget your password. They can send an email out to your other email address so you can recover that password, or maybe they'll send you a text um, to recover that password as well. So those are good to put in. We're gonna leave those blank for today. Then it's asking for a birth date. So let's go ahead and we'll do May the 4th. May the 4th be with you. All right, May the 4th. And let's do 1982. And it's asking for your gender. You can female, male, rather not say custom. So we're just gonna select male today. And if you're looking for more information on why they ask you this stuff, there's a little button you can click on right here. Let's go ahead and click next. And all the privacy terms and terms come up here. You can go ahead and make sure you do read through these. And right here at the bottom, it says, I agree. You can go ahead and select that. And it's going to create, it's creating my account right now. 
And once it's done, it loads you right into Gmail and we are done. It's that simple to create this. You can go ahead and choose your view. There's default, comfortable, compact. So there's a few different ones there. I'll leave that on default. And it loads you right in here where you can learn about Gmail. It's got a whole bunch of things. You can choose themes, import contacts, everything like that. So um, once you've done that, you can see that all your account settings are here in the top right hand corner. You can manage your Google account up here, but it's that simple really to create a Gmail account and get started with Gmail. So I hope this tutorial on starting a Gmail account gave you value. If it did, make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also remember to subscribe to Northern Viking every day because I've got tons of videos coming up that I'd love to share with you. Thanks so much for watching and until next time, take care.